so this is my conveyor belt system um, it's very simple and it only takes four commands for the actual conveyor itself to work so I just made this mock to kinda like mimic a factory machine or area of some sort um, so I basically just have a auto crafter that makes an iron block and that iron block will go through the conveyor and then it'll go through the uh, tube here and then it cycles through all of these hoppers and then it basically goes through just like that and then it goes into this auto crafter that recrafts it to an iron ingot which brings it back down and then that's how it goes into an iron block so I basically just have a loop here of it becoming an iron block cycling back turning down from an iron block back to iron and making it an iron block again so it's just a um, a loop and I just have this to showcase kind of how the conveyor works and it, it uh, the items do move pretty quick you can change that um, I'll show you the commands real quick uh, okay so before I do that though um, this is how the system actually works so I have these arrow blocks under the uh, conveyor here so this is how I have my auto crafter system so to turn it off I just flick that off and then it stops so uh, basically how this works is uh, I just use these blocks here under the coal blocks so if you look under here they just go based on the direction of the conveyor so the item basically just follows the uh, arrows under the thing so if I if I turn this back on which I'll show you here it basically just follows the arrow so that's basically what these are for it works in all directions uh, it only takes four commands um, and it, it doesn't take a long time to really do it's just the same command uh, but you just have to do it in all four like once you do it in one command you can just paste it to the other three basically with just with just uh, changing a few things so these are the commands here um, I'll just show you I'll, I'll just show you the commands real quick so I have mine on a four tick delay that's um, almost a quarter of a second five ticks would be a quarter of a second 20 ticks is one second so I could slow it down I could speed it up I had on I had it on zero originally it looks smoother but it moves really fast and <clears throat> this is the command here so it's executing on all items at their position and if they have that arrow block under them facing in a certain direction so right here I have facing two as the name of the command block which indicates which facing direction of the arrow it's gonna TP through so it just TPs itself and this is uh, how much gets uh, TP'd it's pretty much almost a full block I don't have it a full block just so it can kind of seem less like I don't know I don't I can't think of the word but it, it, it's to make it seem more less linear that's the word so and then true here makes it so if there's a block in front of uh, something while teleporting like let's say I'm the thing being teleported as I'm teleporting if there's a block in front of me and it's in my reach excuse me if it's in my range of the teleport it won't work because the blocks in front of me so this is the first command um, all you have to do to change like with each of the commands is all you're doing is changing the number for the direction and then the uh, direction of the teleport so this is facing three this is the second command and these are all chain blocks these are all always active zero tick delay uh, here's facing for the third command block and then these are the teleporting distance and then here's facing five the fourth command block so five here and then there's the teleport so that's all you have to do for the conveyor it's the only problem I, I have been trying to fix it I've changed the teleports like I've changed the number from 0.98 for example from 0.98 to originally it was on 0.1 so it looked really smooth but um, I'll show you the problem with that as you can see when it's when it hits those corners it turns really sharp like that and it, it tends to hit when it when it gets to the tube um, 
So, okay, that's another thing that I have here on the corners. I have the arrow blocks on these corners, so in case they get stuck, then they can teleport on back onto the conveyor. But originally, the reason why it's not 1.1 anymore and it's 0.98, because it, since it teleports pretty much a full block, then it has less of a chance of getting stuck in the corners and getting stuck on the edges here. See, if I were to turn off these pistons it gets stuck like it immediately just got stuck and now that doesn't always happen like that that one just went through just fine so the only reason these are getting stuck is because the auto crafter as you can just as you just saw it likes to spawn the items like that that one's in the center so that one will teleport just fine so see that one pretty much it doesn't hit the pistons and it goes through just fine but when it when the crafter spawns those items like not in the center and gets them on the edges, then they tend to get stuck. So I, I just have a system. If you were to use this conveyor in a map with something along the lines of a factory just for a map that you made, then I would have something to push the blocks back onto the conveyor because they'll get stuck. And that's what the pistons are for. So they basically, the reason why you can't hear them right now is just because I have my blocks on zero so you wouldn't hear the pistons that's the one downside to the conveyor belt is um, they get stuck and then you need something to you know get them unstuck so I just have pistons here you can do whatever you want for that but the pistons uh, they so they get stuck in here if I turn this one off they like to get stuck in the bubble as well um, it doesn't happen as much now that I changed the teleport distance, but they tend to get stuck right where that block is. So I have this one that prevents it from getting stuck there. And so that's really it. So all these do is prevent it from getting stuck in the edges. This one just prevents it from getting stuck in the bu bubble elevator. So that's all you have to do for your conveyor belt. It's just those four commands. And that's really it. So that this is my example of the conveyor. And... Um, you can use this for factories or obviously you can't use it for survival But if you were to use something for like this for survival like this kind of thing just use water It's like the best thing you can do, but if you want it to look fancy you can do this All right guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's really simple um, I know it's it, it seems like a long video, but it's literally just those four commands. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed